Hi, I'm James Wiebe with CRU. We're showing you features of Ditto, which is a forensic workstation from Wiebe Tech. We are focusing right now on the network capabilities of Ditto. Ditto has the ability to go out and do an Nmap uh, net view of a network. We've already done that, uh, and uh, we're going to go through that, and we're going to find some information on this net map, this network view that is going to help us figure out which uh, shares and volumes we want to take a look at and mount onto Ditto for further analysis. So I've got this in the NetView report that you see right here. I'm driving through it. Uh, uh, there's a couple of things that I'm interested in. I'm looking very quickly. Uh, let's see. As I look through it there, this, this, this uh, one that's called Kayla S7 that's of interest to us, and I think uh, one of the uh, network volumes is also of interest to us. We're going to head into the source network and uh, select a Samba share that's from Kayla's uh, computer. We've selected the C$, dollar, which is uh, just uh, Kayla's uh, hard drive, her main hard drive in her computer. We put the credentials in for the C$, dollar, and we see that uh, we've been given the network path to it, and it is already mounted on our Ditto. Now we've selected the Server 2 company volume, and we're going to add it as well, so it will show up as a source on our Ditto. Now we see from the Ditto GUI that both of those are there as available sources, and they are just like any other hard drive that we might have mounted to this Ditto, except they happen to be a network volume. We can preview them. We can snapshot them. Let's do that. Here we are, we're pulling up a preview. We're going to open it up. And there it is. It's just a plain old Windows 7 computer. Everything that you're seeing here is happening with stealth. Now, uh, the person that we picked on here, thankfully, happens to be the project manager for Ditto and is well aware of the amazing capabilities that we have with Ditto. We've mounted one of the folders from Kayla's computer here, and we are going to be able to take a look at a specific file. In this case, uh, we're going to take a look at a picture. So here we are uh, with uh, Kayla's computer mounted through the network, and we're looking at it on Ditto forensically. We've been able to examine the contents of a photo. We could have downloaded the photo, uh, and right now we're looking at the actual hex view of that particular photo. We might be able to spot metadata. Uh, in other words, we're just doing a forensic investigation right now with some elements of triage, making decisions as to what it is that we want to take a look at. Now we can go back to the other volume that we had mounted as well and look at it. We have a folder that we've saved on this particular one that has a selection of typical data. Uh, we're going to take a look at uh, something here with uh, some uh, pictures. Now we've clicked on that. The attached server went through Ditto, through the network, uh, and then uh, to us. And we were able to identify this particular photo. Uh, as being of interest. Right now we found an MP3. Uh, we can download it. We can do whatever we want. We've just downloaded a file that was on our server uh, onto the current computer that we're working on. It's playing beautifully. Summarizing what we've done is we've been able to uh, 
uh, map and view networks. We've been able to select resources. We've been able to, uh, using that list of identified resources on the network, uh, enter them in, mount them as drives, as volumes, and then go in and browse to them to specifically find, preview, hex view, individual files and folders. Uh, this is just uh, uh, forensic network capability taken to the next generation.